So how do you make a thumbnail for YouTube? We're looking at an image here, real simple. It's a, just a picture of me, and it's got a drone picture there, and then it's got the background picture of the plaza in Kansas City, and I just got some random type. This is not an actual video I'm working on or anything, but it says Kansas City according to a drone. Okay, so how would you recreate this? How did I do it? Okay, very first thing you're going to do, we'll just start with this one because this is the first one I ran into. You go to select and you go down and you click subject. Now we're going to let this run and it will take a minute, now, but I'll show you what it's going to do. Is, is it selected the drone? Okay, now I'm going to go down here and hit hit that button right there and and create a layer and it's exactly how I need it to look okay we're gonna leave that alone for a minute and um, not the, the second one is the picture of me we go back to select and we hit subject and we wait for it to do its magic and it's done we go down and we, we create a layer and we got that done okay now we go to the plaza this is a picture this is shot with a drone this is uh, the plaza in Kansas City of course it's been edited and all that that is the actual sky though by the way just out of curiosity maybe I was wonder okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this rectangle box over it okay and it's completely black why would I do that I'll show you I go down there and opacity hit that down to uh, about 70 and now we have a dark image on the background that's going to be good later okay now I'm going to go in um, let me find my picture okay so we go in here and I'm, what I'm going to do is hit move to a new window and all I'm going to do is drag it over and you can go ahead and exit out of that because I'm done with it. Oh, that's not what I want. I want me. Okay. Now, what I, to make this easier, I'm going to go to Arrange and bring the front. Okay. Now, I'm going to hit Control T, and we're going to resize this thing. And the easiest way to resize it is just to hit the Shift and then drag it down. Oh, that's about right. Okay. So now what I want to do is double click on the image. That's going to open up the styles layer. Okay, I'm going to hit stroke and then make sure the position is on outside. And we're, uh, I want white, so we change the color picker to white. And we go, uh, let's go up, let's kick it to 10. Okay, that's not too bad, not too bad at all. Now, let's assume we wanted something, Just this is just going to be extra, I'm not going to use it. But let's, let's assume you wanted it to look somewhat like the picture, and you need a solid color. You go down here, you create a new adjustment layer, head up the co solid color, and we can... Um, We'll just call it that picture for now. And it's covering up the Im my image. What do I need to do? I need to grab it and just drag it below my image. And there we go. Now let's assume we want to change the color. I'm going to show you something that, that you can do. I'm not saying you have to do it. Okay, now I can pick a color here. Or I can use this cursor and this picker, color picker and find the color that I want. Say I want it to be the color of my hat. There we are. Let's say I want the color of the shirt I had on. There we are. Or my skin tone. There we are. Um, that's always an option. Or I can take this white. Uh, so I want it. There we go. I can take the white in my hat. Doesn't matter. So that's something just an extra. Uh, that's very useful when you're doing YouTube videos um, to be able to do that so let's just cancel out of that and I don't need that I just wanted to show you that because that is something very useful when you're doing YouTube videos 
Now the second, now the next thing we need to do is we need to work on some type. Okay, um, and we're just gonna hit. I'm gonna say for now. Um, I'm using this vintage rough that I got off of thefonts.com free one. Okay, the other thing you want to do when you type this out, you want to take box and you want to bring it in around the type, and I'm gonna show you why in a minute. Okay, now you're gonna hit layer bring and bring this up, bring the front. Okay, now we're gonna hit Control T. Now watch this. So I'm here at this end. Okay, I can make, resize this font any way that I want. I mean, I can go big, I can go small. It doesn't matter. But I'm gonna resize it as I want it. I will go into there. I will go over my face. I know that, and that's probably not the best. It's not. But for this demonstration, I will. Okay, now we're going to do layer um, size. Okay, and we're going to hit stroke. And we're, we're going to do, okay, so I'm just going to go, um, and we're just going to put Kansas City drone. I'm not going to go into all of it I did earlier. Okay, so again, we just go there, and I'll show you why. Now, I'm going to bring it all the way over and line it up with the font the font ahead of it I'm gonna hit control T and then I'm just going to expand this until it looks about the size about the size of the font ahead, uh, above it I'm still asleep guys so bear with me and so we're gonna go in the layer style and we're going to hit that stroke again now what I also recommend is doing some drop shadows on these. I usually set mine, I'll tell you what I set mine to. And then the spread is 21 and the size is 43 is what I typically do. Um, and you, uh, if you mess back and forth, you kind of can see what those are. But that's the settings that I would typically use. Now, let's say we want to put a picture of a drone on this as well. Okay, so again, what we're going to do is we're going to do the create new window, and let me make sure it's selected. It is, and I'm just going to move it. Okay, it should have. Know why it's not moving? Okay, and then you run into issues like this. There we go. I got it to finally move. That was weird. Okay, I don't need that no more. Again, we go to Control T, and we're going to bring this down the size. And there's a rough idea of how you would do make a YouTube thumbnail. Um, basically, how I would do it: you might go on the drone and add a little of that white layer on the around it using the stroke. Um, you can. Um, I think ten's a little overkill for that thing, though. Uh, we'll call it six. That's fine. And so that's basically how I would do it, and how I would recommend you do it. Uh, super easy. All you got to do is know basically select in the subject, and then it's just basically moving stuff around and typing some stuff up. It's well, like I said, super super easy. And I hope this helps somebody. So I'm out of here. So